Okay, so here's my flamingo that I completed before I even started doing the uh, YouTube. So this is a completed flamingo. The fabric size is located here and the design size is here. None of this right here is diamond painting. All of this is. It came out very well you can see and then what I'm going to do with these leaves is I'm going to add a few of my sparkle gems here like I did on my lighthouse if you did not see the lighthouse video here's the completed lighthouse right here and right on top here I added some gems to the reflection of the stars that were already there. And that is what I'm going to do with the flamingo painting. So I clipped the sides because it was still rolled up. Just to attach that part down here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit of glue. I don't want to spray the adhesive spray because I don't want this part uh, getting covered with the um, adhesive spray. It will take away from the sp sparkleness of the gems. So what I did was I'm just going to put some dabs of glue just a little and my top broke off on here so I gotta be really careful I think I'm gonna put a little bit right here on the tip just a little another one right here another one right over here just a little that's all you need and then what you do take your your stylus pin and grab the gem and I'm going to apply it right there and I don't want to put too much wax on the stylus pin otherwise when you go to set it down you're just going to keep on picking up the gem picking up the gem picking up the gem and it gets a little buggy sometimes and then over here, see how it picked up a little bit? I'm just gonna, just a little push, pick up another one. And what I'm doing is, I'm going to continue. Oops, see how it picked up? I'm going to continue along this line here. Not, not like it is here, dot to dot, just like sporadic, here and here, here and here, and then the same thing up here, and I'm going to do it along here. I'm not going to do the entire leaves, not each and every leaf, no. Just a little, just to give it that swank, and then after that, I'm going to take my Mod Pod spray, and I'm going to spray. I'm going to definitely, I'm going to do this again. They're already pretty much in there, but just to secure one more time. But I also could not find the Mod Pod spray, so I bought the Mod Pod paste. And I'm probably going to have to work out with that because I don't think I have enough spray. I'm kind of nervous because I've never done it. So I'm going to make sure that these are very pretty much dry so that way when I take the foam brush with a Mod Pod and go across they won't stick to the the foam brushes and come off. So that is how we're going to do the flamingos. I'm going to add a little bit of swank to that and I'll show you how that comes in and then from there again I either put it on a canvas or picture frame um, 
who knows? I'm not sure yet. Each one is always different. Alright, thank you for your time. Like and subscribe, and please continue to follow. And I appreciate any um, input, um, suggestions that you might have um, to help. We're all here learning this. Some are new, some are old to it. I'm new to it, uh, October of 2018, and I've done probably about 10 of them now. I just don't have them all here on the YouTube yet, because like I said, I decided to start this and um, see how it goes. Alright guys, thank you so much for your time. Like and subscribe, and please leave any comments or suggestions for me. Thank you.